Hi, this presentation is about using the solver add-in in Excel 2010 to solve simultaneous equations. Now the example I'll be using is the example you see on the screen right now. I've got two simultaneous equations, I'll try to solve them. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the value of x and the value of y that satisfies both of those equations, that's, that satisfies those equations simultaneously. Now please keep in mind that as I manipulate these equations, whatever I do to the left hand side of the equal sign, I must do to the right hand side of the equal sign. And ultimately what I want to do is I want to manipulate these equations so that the left hand side equals zero for both of these equations and then I'll be entering that information into Excel and applying the solver add-in to produce the solution that I'm looking for. So in the case of that second equation, um, the, the, the opposite of 3y is a minus 3y and I apply that to, to the left hand side and the right hand side of the equal sign. The opposite of 4y is a minus 4y, and I apply that to the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equal sign for the first equation. So that's what I, I'm doing as I'm manipulating the equations. Um, just, just balancing so that um, whatever I do to the left-hand side, I do to the right-hand side. And in the end, what I get is something like this, where both equations equal zero. And this is the data I'll be entering into Excel. So I'm in Excel, I click on data, and the solver add-in is not there. I'll put it there by clicking on File, Options, Add-ins, Go, the solver add-in, I'll tick that and click on OK. There's the solver add-in there. Now, cell A2 will contain the correct solution for X. I'll just type in a random number there. This is not the solution, it's just a random number I'm typing in. Cell B2 will contain the correct solution for Y. That's not the correct solution for Y, that's just a, a number I've typed in at random. In cell C2, I will enter the equations. And so the first equation is minus, minus 3 times X plus 33 minus 4 times Y. All equations begin with an equal sign in Excel and or formulae. So equals, and the second one is 2x minus 5, 2 times x minus 5 minus 3 times y. So I've entered the two equations. Uh, the first equation is in C2, the second equation is in C3. And now I'll use my solver. So I'll set my objective, which is the first equation in C2. This must have a value of 0. I'll be changing the cells in cell A2 and B2. Now I'll add a constraint. And the constraint will be that cell C3 also equals 0. So I select the LP simplex engine for linear solver problems. These actually are linear. So I'll select simplex LP. I'll click on solve. I'll keep the solver solution. Solver has found a solution. And so the solution is x equals 7, y equals 3. And this is how you use solver, the solver add-in, to solve simultaneous equations 
in Excel 2010.